world is expecting. Number one is a wonderful counselor. Mm -hmm. Now, Christ is distinguished and is comparable to none. Okay. As far as humanity is concerned, as far as heaven and earth are concerned, mm -hmm. he is without peer. You can't, there is no way that you can arrive at comparing Christ to any other person. Mm. And then mighty God mm. is illustrating him as the Godhead, God coming on earth mm. to dwell with his people uh, using what? The flesh of man to give him a, 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 a legal entry mm. into the earth realm. Mm. And then he says he's everlasting father. Mm -hmm. Now, you, God's or Jesus' own reign in his kingdom and the kingdom of Christ has no end. Mm. That's the principal thing for us to understand. Yeah. The Lord Basil said something very uh, 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 pertinent here. Mm -hmm. The kingdom he's establishing, mm -hmm. he comes to establish a kingdom. We're expecting a king mm -hmm. who will come with a kingdom. Mm -hmm. We're not expecting a religion. Mm -hmm. We're not ex expecting a ritual. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. But a kingdom. And so it has no end. Mm -hmm. All right? Because it's eternal. Mm -hmm. Then he is what? The prince of peace. <laughs> if you are in trouble, if you lack peace, <laughs> it's only Christ who can give you peace. Who can give you peace. Who can take you away from your troubles. Because he is the prince of peace. Of peace. Amen. Amen. And now let's look at verse 6 of Isaiah 9. It says, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given. Yes. A child is born and a son given. Yes. And the government will be on his shoulders. Yes. Now, let's try to understand why will the government be on his shoulders? Because the Jews were expecting a king. Yes. And uh, they were expecting a king, but then there is the, the, the type of king that they were expecting. They were expecting a human king to come and save them, you know, from the to Romans. Go, from the Romans. Yes. But the kind of kingship that the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was coming to bring to Mother Earth was different from, it was not a political kingship. Yes. It was going to be a divine kingship. Amen? Sure. And then, because of that, the government will be on his shoulders. Sure. And that is what happened until to the very end. You know, we are, we are, we are approaching Christmas at yes. the moment, yeah. getting ready to celebrate the anniversary of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. And from there on, we will see how he, he, he grew up and carried out his ministry here on earth. And then he had problem with them and they crucified him leading to Easter. Yes. And then from Easter, he rose again, triumphant, you know, victorious, sorry, from the grave and appeared again to the disciples and ascended into heaven. Sure. Then he sent the Holy Spirit yes. to be with us. Sure. So that is what I want us to look at, to think about that for the moment. You understand? But on, uh, yeah, you want to say something, Brother Paul, on that? Yes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Father, I, where you look at verse 6, yeah. it's marvelous. It says, for all, a child is born unto us, mm -hmm. and a son is given to us. Yes. Now, he's looking at the stages. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus first, he has to come as a child. Mm -hmm. When you are a child, it's just like any of us, you, you rely on your parents to take care of you. Mm -hmm. At the time, Jesus, I remember where he, he illustrated, he says, so long as you are a child, even if you are an heir, mm -hmm. you are just like a servant. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Until you become a son, mm -hmm. you can't have access. Okay? So Christ needed to come to teach us. You know, he's a model mm -hmm. to the human race. And he modeled for us to be a child. So that as an heir, he learns the rules. That's right. Then when he now became a son, he's able to legislate. He's able to carry out the mantle of the father. Mm. And that is for me something relevant we should understand. Before the government is rested up upon his shoulders, mm -hmm. now why would the government rest upon his shoulders? He is going to legislate. He is going to bring the kingdom of heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. And he began by teaching the, the, the prayer mm -hmm. of our father. Oh, yeah. and now, like I said earlier, he's bringing a kingdom. He's coming to establish a kingdom, not a political kingdom. Mm -hmm. Else, the Roman ru rulers would be in trouble. Mm -hmm. But he came to establish a kingdom in the hearts of men. Yeah. So we live as God intended us sure. to. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Brother Basil? Yeah, Father, if you, if you look at the, the reason why most of the time the Jews will argue with Jesus, mm -hmm. because once he called himself the son of God, you, you notice they, they, are, they are so much angry with him because right. they say he, 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 he wants to make himself 
equal yes, with God. So they always <laughs> say that he, he is blaspheming. Yeah. And why Jesus, the, 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 the Isaiah here pointed that Jesus as the son. You see, when God says Jesus is his son, he's, he's, he's talking about Jesus coming, Jesus being God, mm -hmm. coming in the form of man. The fact. And that is why when, when, when he came, Isaiah said, the government shall be upon his shoulder. Mm -hmm. He's like, God is already a, a king. He's mm -hmm. the king of the whole universe. Mm -hmm. And Jesus has come on earth to manifest God here on earth. Yeah. And that's why the Bible says the government shall be upon his shoulder. Mm -hmm. So he, he, his kingdom has no end. Mm -hmm. He's the one who is in charge. He's the one who, who, who commands. And there's, there was a time they, when they were arresting him. He says, my kingdom was, was of this world. Mm -hmm. I can command and it will come to pass. Amen. But mm -hmm. he wanted to un them people to understand that his kingdom is not a physical kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual kingdom. Indeed. And that is where he's leading all of us to. Yeah. Because we are all, the Bible says we are all heirs of the kingdom. The kingdom that's, that's right. what the Bible leads us to. Okay. Yeah. At this point in time, let's look at somebody very, very important in this whole issue of the coming. And that is none other than John the Baptist. Sure. You see. And... Uh, I'll, we will look at Gospels later on, Gospel um, uh, passages later on. But now, for now, let's look at Isaiah 40. Yes. Isaiah 40, 1 to 8. You know, and it says, Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed. And all mankind together will see it, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely people are grass. You see, this is another prophecy from Isaiah, yeah. talking about Prince of Peace, bringing comfort to God's people. And that is the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. But of course, um, uh, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah also talks of a voice of one crying in the wilderness. That is John the Baptist. You remember? John the Baptist yeah. came into this world and he was a very serious and, you know, weird looking man, putting on, you know, leather and 